Hi guys, this is Miss Leslie from the Paul Sawyer Public Library. Thanks so much for joining me today. And in today's book talk, I'm going to share a few of my oldies but goodies. I call them that because they're not off the new bookshelf. They've been around a bit, but they're some of my favorites and hopefully they will be your favorites too. Or there'll be some that maybe you want to put on your bookshelf. And all the books I'm going to show you today are available at the library. So March is Women's History Month. So what better way to celebrate Women's History Month than with my first pick? which is a picture book and it is called Rosie Revere Engineer and it's by Andrea Beatty and the illustrations are by David Roberts and this is one of my favorites because it not only celebrates young women but also celebrates science which you know me I love to do science experiments and Rosie our character in this story she loves science more than anything she loves figuring out the who the when the where the why and the how and Along the way, she realizes that sometimes experiments don't always go as they should, but that's what science is all about. Sometimes you got to have a few failures before you get to successes, and they're not really failures. They're just bumps along the way. Rosie gets a little discouraged at first, and she kind of has to hide all her experiments because she's afraid she'll be laughed at again because she was laughed at one time for one of her experiments. And it really didn't, it really didn't set well with her. And she was afraid of not being able to figure something out. But then she got the help of her great aunt Rose. And when Rose comes on the scene, she helps Rosie figure out that they're not really any failures. They're just kind of bumps along the road to get to the right way to figure out an experiment. And that's what science is all about. You have to have a few tries before you get to your success. And that's what this book celebrates. It celebrates a young girl who perseveres, uses her creativity, and gets the help from her family to celebrate science, something that she loves. And the cool thing about this book is it's the text is all rhyming. So it has a really good pace to it and it's really fun. It's got some cool illustrations. And like I said, it celebrates a young girl who loves science. So also in this series, besides Rosie Revere, there's Iggy Pecked Architect, a young man who loves architecture. Ada Twist Scientist, who's like Rosie, who loves to celebrate science. And lots of others. And this is a picture book like Ada Twist and Iggy Peck, but there's also a J Fiction series with Rosie and Iggy and Ada as well. So you might want to check those out. Now, along with Rosie, since we're talking about science, you guys know me, I love to do science experiments. I love to do messy science experiments. And a couple of books that I found at the library that had some great science experiments with things that you can find at home, which I love to do too. I don't wanna to have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. I wanna use things I have at home. I found a couple of these books on the shelf at the library. Then I liked them so much, I ended up purchasing for my shelf behind me here but they are the Smithsonian series. There's Smithsonian STEM Lab, like this book here, and there's also Smithsonian Maker Lab. This one is Smithsonian STEM Lab, and it's got some really great experiments with all things that you can find in your, in your pantry or your cabinet at home, and they're by um, Jack Challenge. And these are great because they're not only colorful, which you can see from the cover here, but they've got lots of great illustrations in here of different experiments that you can do. And the other cool thing, like on this page right here, it shows you step by step, not only everything that you need for your experiment, but also how to go about each step in your experiment. So that's why I really love this series. It gives a great detailed explanation of each experiment, what you have to, what you, what you need for it, what you have to do to get it to go, and also kind of the science behind it, which I love even more. So there's Smithsonian STEM Lab, and there's also Smithsonian Maker Lab. So it's the same thing, only it's a Maker Lab series. And just like the other one, it gives great illustrations along with detailed directions and a materials list as well. And both of these books are by the same author, Jack Challenge. And these particular books are great if you love doing science at home or science at school, but science at home because they're all, all the science experiments in there for the most part, there might be a couple in there, but for the most part, you can find all those things in your pantry. 
But these are three great books that you can find in your library. Now, like I was saying, Rosie Revere, you, it is a series. You don't have to read, the, read them in any order, but the, it is a series. And like I said, there's also a J Fiction series besides the picture books. And then the Smithsonian books, there's no order to those. They've just got some great experiments. And we have lots of great science experiment books at the library as well. But all three of these books can be found at the library, and all three of these books can be checked out. So I hope hope you guys enjoyed my book talk today and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great week. Thanks so much for joining me today.